What up, it's your girl that could be coming at you with another video. Today we're gonna be trying out Amazon's um, wig stands. It can be used with wig production and modeling. It's in progress. Here it goes. Oh, sorry. Oh, still crooked. Okay, good. Have a ring light on just so you can uh, see the packaging. There are instructions on the front of the package. It says, Diagram of Dream Lover. Lover is, oh, wig stand. The name is Dream Lover Wig. It's a Dream Lover Wig Stand, not Dream Lover. The D is in enhanced right here. nails done just to match my hair it's green you probably can't see that it's green but it's pretty green it says here it goes it says that this part of the stand the little opening right here and this little opening right here looks like this Click them in together, which is a fold. It says that this part right here and this part right here goes like this. It clicks in this little hoop stand. Take all these metal bars that you see and click them into these areas right here. Here it goes. And this is the wig stand. This is how it goes. I'm gonna try it out with um this is this is a laced wig. I'm gonna try it wig. This is a lace wig cap. I'm gonna try it out with a regular wig cap to see if it works. And then I'm gonna try a lace wig over it just so you can see how the lace wig works. And I'm gonna put a little bit of yarn in the lace wig and probably glue some yarn to the regular wig caps. a regular wig cap. It is a wig stand, so it should work. Here it goes. Uh, let's see if you can see it here. It works pretty good. Uh, this stand is mainly used for like making a wig. You might want to buy some um, 
mannequins if you wish to place a wig on it and just have it sit there but you could probably use it for placing wigs as well it is a wig stand so it should work and that's what i got out of it but here it goes regular wig cap I really just bought it <laughs> so I can like do my hair because I don't I don't really do my hair like that much but I was thinking about just leaving my hair in like braids naturally just putting a wig over it so I don't have to like braid it all the time or like come up with a natural look or anything like that here it goes here how whoop. Just so you can see how like how working on it, working with it works. my colors is missing in this box so you might not want to look in this area I'm not gonna find the complete thing yeah I'm pretty sure I'm missing like an orange or something here it goes there's crochets for this type of stuff and stuff like I'm packaging it right now. Just kind of pull it through this line. I'm just going to pull it through this line. Here it goes. Pull through the hallway. Take it, put it in one of these, put it on the bottom part of the lace like that. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna tie the end and knot it up. I do plan to wear this. I do plan to wear this wig one day. I do plan to finish it, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So here it goes, just tie it like this, and then another one, just loop around it, underneath it, pull, tie it down, it looks like this, and that's a complete knot. You can undo the knot, but it's very sturdy, and it won't untie, and you know, it's difficult to um, untie it. Probably if you like use a smaller item to unplug it, one of your regular fingers might not work. But it's pretty sturdy, pretty stiff, and you, you can't undo it. But that's how it works. Um, I don't want the wig to be that long, so just take some scissors and just like cut the excess line. Cause I want both these two lines to match for a full coverage look. So put on that for a full coverage look. I'm struggling to find my scissors. Here it goes. 
scissors. These are my scissors. Just see this right here. Go right here, put it around them, put it around the string, and just cut it. It didn't come out even. finish it up so it comes out even <laughs> but usually usually when I do it it comes out even but I but what I enjoy is when one side is uneven the other side is not even because usually when you make a complete even wig it doesn't look like it's your natural hair or it doesn't look like natural hair to begin with but if you like make it uneven a little bit rigidy it looks like somebody's natural hair because you know uneven ends and stuff like that but the most most even wigs look pretty natural but i like i like the non-natural look because when you wear it you can tell that it's wig in your head i like that as well i like how it's like big and goofy and all over the place and you can tell that it's not real i like that as well but but a wig for full coverage and stuff like that is like men dairy wigs so i mainly just do that because that's like how the wig is supposed to look with full coverage where it looks natural and it's all over the place. But that's how the wig stand works. So we're going to try it with, um, with, the, with the natural wig cap. Uh, and that calls it a do-rag. It's not. It's just a wig cap. I mean, there's nothing wrong with do-rag, but you not. I'm, I'm more of a person who's like, I'd rather just have a wig cap than a do-rag. I feel like wig caps feel better. They cover up more. Like if you just wear it regularly. But I like when you wear a wig cap and then make sure you blow. I think that's cute. Like that's important. So here it goes. I'm going to pull out a couple of strings. I'm going to use the brown one. I'm going to cut me a couple of strings. I'm making the same length as one another probably like three i'm gonna glue it on there i'm gonna use um hair glue hair glue is what i'm gonna use but hip okay good here we go that one together it looks like a little bit of yarn but it's a lot it should be able to cover the whole entire thing and you should have a majority amount left over. So I just put three strings in here because you know three strings is good for demonstration. Uh, if you're gonna make the wig you might want to do more than three strings. I'm gonna make this a track and then I'm gonna glue it on to the hair. Here goes. Oh, okay. oh I was I forgot. I have to put another string in. I usually make the strings a little bit higher. I just started making yarn wigs like two days ago. But I usually make one of them higher and then just cut it out it has little pieces of yarn left over and the little pieces of yarn i want like for more for more making wigs but here it goes just here, let me see. three lines that's good for that um, i'm trying to find
I'm gonna make another video about this hair glue because I want everybody to see how it works. Okay. Glue them on the line so they're stuck together pretty neat, pretty tight. You're probably like, why would you use yarn weeks to do it? It's because I like yarn weeks. Just, I feel like it looks good. It's a good hairstyle. You might not want to use your mouth for it. It oozes out. Most people use tape to tie it down. Well, there's most people do. I watched a couple of yarn videos. Some in the past, some in the present. Most people use tape on it and they have it dry on the tape. But this is that. I'm going to use a blow dryer. a good amount of plugs of your props to fire with them. or uneven, um, it might crackle and all the glue might come off. But here's here's the track right here. If you don't like the touches or how the glue shows, you can always clean it off later. Not on the side of where you glued it, but on the other side, just clean it off. It won't even bother it. The water won't even take it off or nothing. So here it goes. And I'm going to put some glue around it. And I'm going to glue it on there. Do this and I'm gonna put some glue there. Yeah, just like that. You don't want to put it on your head because the glue will definitely spread throughout your hair and it might fall out. But you want to put it on there when it's wet, not when it's dry. There it goes, all pretty good. 
definitely want to pin it down because it unsticks and it sticks and it unsticks and it sticks. So you want to pin it down so it touches the glue so I can feel the, the fiber of the glue because the glue holds fiber when you put it on a wig cap. And you want to, you want to just pin it down really goodly and get it on there very well. There it goes. And this is how it looks. It's not even in the front. I'm going to cut it. Cause I like the little mini pieces. I just want to put them on the wig in different places. I want it to show, so it looks like you just have like little spots of hair. But that was my idea, so I just they said you might want to do the process, um, like make them all even, tie them down, or just keep the yarn attached to the the bolts. I mean the the yield the, the thing of yarn, and then cut it pieces by piece. In, in directions and the lengths that you want but because little pieces are left over growing you might not want that so you know it might want to do it a different way but i want the little pieces of yarn left over so that's how i did it and that's how it goes that's how it looks it's pretty long but this is the brown one and i want it short so i'm gonna cut like half of it right here and i'm gonna do another Yarn. Probably not on camera, but I'm gonna take this other half and just glue it on here. That'll be some pieces left over, and that's how it look. If that's how the wig looks. I'm gonna keep it on here by the fan. Don't want to leave it by a fan. I left mine by a fan though, because I plan to put more tracks on there. But you do not want to leave yours by a fan. You definitely want to leave it in a place where it just pull up by itself. But that's how that looks and we're gonna try out the um the lace wig so yeah we're gonna use this one because that one is occupied but here it goes again the packaging you just want to flip this little guy up like this and you want you want to save these because the instructions are right here but Piece this one together all over again. Here goes the lace wig. I'm just gonna prop it on here so this has a place to sit as well. They came in the package of three. They come in the package of three. Dream Lovers wig cap stand. I mean, wig stand. Uh, I call it a wig cap stand because you can put wig caps on there. You, know, you don't just have to use a wig. You can put wig caps on it and the whole thing. This one right here, the one I was working on for the video, is very sturdy, very stick. Look like it doesn't break easily, but that right is pretty good. You know, you probably like this a lot of yarn, but it's all worth it because it's gonna look good with them. Uh, you might want to get you a mannequin head so you can place the things in there but since it's a wig stand let me see since it's a wig stand it says wig stand and and and, and you do have to say this but it, since it's a wig stand you can't put a wig on it because it says wig stand but it's really just built for the process of making a wig 
and a mannequin head um, what she wants. Because a mannequin head is better to place a wig on because it'll show you the style and the shape and how it looks on the face or a figure. And that's really how that works. But you might want to keep these because the instructions are on here. So definitely keep these. Not a mic. You definitely want to keep these because the instructions are on here. You can just put them back in the packaging. It's also neat. I definitely keep my packaging, you know, before my dad comes in and throw it away. Because he's like, why do you have it? What is it there for? To him, it's just trash. But I usually keep all my packaging. And that's usually how it works. You might want to keep the glue away from your skin because it sticks. And usually when, when glue sticks, it takes off uh, particles of your uh, skin that is good for you. Or like sediments or, you know, structures or or the lotion you put on last night, or medication that applies to it. And, uh, but it sticks pretty well. If that's what I got, it's off Amazon. Let me see. No. I forgot. I'm recording my phone. It's off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below for it so you can get to it. It doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really, um, cost much. It was like $14.99. That's estimated price. It was like $14.99, $12.99, $10.99, $9.99, somewhere in that range. Uh, it did not come, it did not come with the wave cap. It doesn't come with the yarn. I definitely bought that separate. Definitely want to buy it separate, because usually when you get products that that goes with the wig stand, it's usually fit for a wig only, or the or the wig stand only, or the wig caps only. It's usually fit for that one set only, and then one style. But if you buy them separate, you just have any style, any set. But it's definitely that. So. That was them. It came three in the box. I mean, three in the packaging. It didn't come in a box. How it came was just. How it came was just. You know. These three. Like this. I've been seeing the um, set, the third one, but it, didn't, it had a wrap around it of tape. And that's how it came. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching on, you know, wig stand products it came from amazon you know definitely go out there check out amazon it's really good pricing really good it comes in like a day it, it only took like a day so it's quick quick um shipping good prices good products you could definitely find just about anything on there anything uh, so thanks for watching and um, and I'm out.